welcome back to another video my name is anna diva and i am black today i'm just going to show you guys how i blow dry my hair what you're going to need is heat protectant a brush definitely has to be a denman brush not any kind of brush some ponytail holders or bolas as i call them and then i have these twists from i don't know how many days now because my intention was to dye my hair but because i'm going to be wearing wigs for the next two events that i have coming up i decided to just do some cornrows so i'm going to show you guys how i blow dry my hair before i actually do the cornrows so one thing that is really important that i want you guys to pay attention to right now is the fact that i really detangled my hair like i detangled my hair so well before i made the twist i sat there and i combed every single section of my hair out that's why it's so easy for me to unravel the twist this is me unraveling the twist in real time they're literally just coming apart all i have to do is just twist them out and then they come Come right apart so it's very important for you to realize the fact that if you don't detangle your hair your blow dry is not gonna look so good it's not gonna be so silky it's not gonna be as easy for you if you want to straighten your hair after or whatever it is you want to do for you to do it right after if your hair is not properly detangled and by detangling you just remove all the knots and tangles in your hair so you don't necessarily have to be rough about it you can be very gentle and also take your time like the twists are literally coming apart I'm just unraveling them a little bit at the root and then i just like pull them apart and that's that and also if you don't have heat protectant i would suggest you get it first before you blow dry your hair because a lot of times i see the mistake that natural hair girls do is that you blow dry your hair with no heat protectant that's why your curls or your coils disappear afterwards you'll be like yeah my hair heat damage heat damage because you didn't use a heat protector the heat protector is supposed to shield your hair from whatever heat you're gonna put on it so be it blow dryer be it straightener whatever it is that's why you need the heat protector so now that the twists are out i'm just gonna go ahead and then brush them with my denman brush and just like brush them from ends to roots i'm not gonna be aggressive about it i'm gonna be very gentle and also you can see this is in real time so you can see how much i'm taking my time how slow i'm going how gentle i'm being just to get the knots out you know what i'm saying like not too much no ahala okay no not too much stress chale just chill so after you've detangled your hair you just take some heat protectant you spray the section that you want to um, blow dry and then you just blow dry your hair so i brush it a little bit before with a brush and then i just use the blow dryer and i do what is called tension blow drying so i just take my fingers and i stretch the hair as you can see and then i just run the blow dryer up and down the shaft it's very important also that your blow dryer is facing downwards so that you can close the cuticles of your hair as you are blow drying i don't know if that makes sense but this is what I saw on this other YouTube channel that I watch, Deeper Than Hair TV. I'll put it in the description box. But if you blow dry your hair downwards, that was really a game changer for me because it really helps the hair to like really be detangled and really be um, stretched. So I just use my fingers. I don't really use a brush. I only use a brush probably at the end of the section or um, in the end to like brush my whole hair when i'm done with the whole blow drying vibe so i'm just showing you guys for reference so you can see the technique and how much patience i'm really taking also i don't want anybody to talk about the color of my hair because what the fuck is this girl it is not giving it is giving zimbabwe <laughs> But it is not giving um that's why i wanted to dye my hair in the first place i already bought the dye and i was gonna do it but i just thought you know i might as well do it later because i don't know what it is about red hair dye but it just bleeds out so much every time i wash my hair the color would come out a little bit even though i wouldn't use so much shampoo and i would like only focus on the roots it just wouldn't still stay in my hair i don't know what i need to do if you guys have any advice please let me know how i can keep the color in but yeah i'm just going back in and i'm doing exactly the same thing putting some heat protectant using the brush and then facing my blow dryer downwards and then just tension blow drying all of that i only use a brush usually in the front because i want the cornrows to really be like flat when i make them because i'm gonna put a wig over it sometimes or also because sometimes I want it to be a little bit aesthetic because I, when I do go to the gym, I don't wear my wigs. Like I just go with the cornrows and then if the cornrows are old, I wear a cap or I just stay like that. Like nobody knows me 
nobody cares for real nobody even knows the difference between fresh and old cornrows so yeah in the end like i said i just take the brush and i just go over what i did already just to make sure that everything is as detangled as i thought it was gonna be and you can see like how easy it is and how smooth it is and how much it's giving pocahontas honey titanic in this bitch So yeah, I just do that and then I do the other side. Basically, I tie off the part that I already blow dried and then I move on to the other side and do exactly the same thing. In the front, as you can see, because I was done with everything, I went in with the brush and I just blow dried everything before I started doing my cornrows. I really liked this technique. I liked the fact that I did the twist before and then I came back in and blow dried because usually i would just wash my hair and then blow dry it when i got out of the shower but this time i had the twist in for a few days and then i blow dried it today i feel like it kind of works but then i also feel like my hair was quite dry i'm not gonna lie i wasn't expecting my hair to be looking so dry so i made a little bit of effort for you guys i hope you appreciate it <laughs> i tried to record the front and the back so you could see what's happening from both ends of this hairstyle but i didn't really appreciate the fact that the camera quality was just not giving it's giving very much android i don't know what i did i think it's the light i will try to use the, the studio lights next time today all i had was the ring light but i really wanted to have this out for you guys before i change my mind or get lazy or anything like that of course we will be testing and trying and seeing how we can change things throughout even though the sun was shining today the light was just not lighting so yeah this is the big reveal that's me being done with my hair feeling myself singing my music i really appreciate the fact that i didn't give up i didn't have a bad mood i was just my spirits were up and y'all yeah, i hope you guys love it what do you think um give me some tips are you gonna try this please tag me if you do try it i would love to see it i'm available on instagram and facebook ciao